Hello everyone, my name is Chip. Like many people back in my uni days, I was all about experimenting and trying new things. Instead of the boring go-tos like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, I was toying around with different card games. Today's magic deck is inspired by a mechanic from Cardfight Vanguard called the Ride Chain, where, as you leveled your Vanguard, if you followed the correct chain of creatures, you would benefit from power buffs or some form of card advantage. So today we're using Pyre of Heroes to achieve the same goal. Pyre of Heroes allows us to sacrifice a creature and search our deck for a creature with plus one CMC than the one we sacrificed. So we can turn a one drop into a two drop and a two drop into a three drop. The only restriction of this is the creatures must share a creature type. Today I've chosen human tribal. Humans are versatile, aggressive, filled with strong effects, and also happen to be my favorite creature type in all of magic. Something about people facing off against dragons, angels, and demons on a seemingly daily basis whilst trying to make their way in a horrifying and unforgiving multiverse was always something I could relate to. And now for the ride chain. Our ideal human ride chain starts at one mana with Doomed Traveler, a 1-1 one, one for 1 that leaves behind a spirit token when it dies. We pie a Doomed Traveler and get ourselves the spirit token, and search up our Loyal Cathar, a 2 mana 2-2 two, two with Vigilance. We pyre our Loyal Cathar and search up a Blade Splicer, which enters with a 3-3 Golem token. And in the end step, Loyal Cathar returns transformed as Unhallowed Cathar. Then we pyre away our Blade Splicer, leaving behind the Golem token, and search up our Winota Joiner of Forces. Winota's effect says whenever we attack with a non-human creature, we look at the top six cards of our library and we may put a human from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. They gain indestructible until end of turn. Having assembled our ride chain, all that's left to do is attack with our three non-human creatures we've collected along the way, get three triggers off our Winota, and with more than half our deck being valid targets for Winota's ability, we should be able to assemble an insurmountable advantage and quickly win the game. And that's how you play Vanguard in modern. Thanks to all our searching with Pyre, we can run a large variety of silver bullets in low numbers and search them up when necessary to disrupt or shut down our opponent's game plan. Today I'm running Thalia Guardian of Thraven for spell-based decks, our Uruk Champions laugh in the face of burn, and Magus can ruin greedy mana bases. I'm recording this intro after the games and I will admit we probably could have benefited from a more diverse package. Mirren Crusaders, Grand Abolishers, Odric Master Tactician, Alesha who smiles at death, or even splashing into green for Eternal Witness or Renegade Rallyer is an option. And really any number of great humans would work. But for a first go at it, I'm pretty happy with this loadout. A link to the full deck list is in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, suggestions, or criticisms, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video by leaving a like, that lets me know this is more of the content you'd like to see. And if you really like this video or any of the videos on my channel, showing them to a friend is the best thing you can do to help the channel grow. And with that, let's get on to the games. We win the die roll. Oof. I've had worse hands. We're going to keep. Just lead on Arid Misa. Sacred Foundry. Untapped to a Doom Traveler. Pass the turn. Opponent leads on a tapped Celestial Colonnade. Passes back to us. Another Bolt. Well, Sacred Foundry. Yes. Pay two life. Loyal Cathar. Go to combat. Swing in for one. Opponent takes it down to 19 and we pass the turn. Flooded Strand from our opponent. Pass back to us. Another Loyal Cathar's not bad. Go to combat. Swing in for three. Opponent takes it down to 16. And we're going to run out. Out the other loyal Cathar and pass the turn there. Opponent cracks the flooded strand in our end step. It's a hallowed fountain. Tapped and Ots. They play an island and they pass the turn. Go to combat, swing in for five, hit our opponent down to ten and pass the turn there. Opponent has the Vendillion click. Okay, look at our hand, opponent. Can you beat this? Oh, they give us another loyal Cathar. Blast zone from our opponent. In their end step, we're going to bolt their face and bolt their face. Draw a Thalia. Well, let's go to combat. Yep, opponent hits us with the cryptic command, tapping our permanence and we will run out of Thalia. Pass the turn there. Field of Ruin from our opponent, and they pass it to us. All right, still no more lands. Go to combat, swing with everything. Opponent casts a Snapcaster Mage. Gets themselves an opt. It's going to block the Loyal Cathars. Okay, I'm guessing board wipe next turn. So the Loyal Cathars will come back, and they're down to one life. Well, let's run out another Loyal Cathar. So we have an attacker. We have two attackers if they have the board wipe. Go to our end step, and the boys come back. Opponent putting a charge counter on the blast zone. Glacial Fortress from our opponent. They pass to us. All right, well, we're going to go to combat. 
Attack with everything. Yeah, opponent blows up all our two drops. Has the Snapcaster Mage. Oh, opponent, that must feel bad. Snapcaster Mage for no value. Blocks the Doom Traveler. We get a Spirit. We run out our other two Doom Travelers. And our Loyal Cathar comes back. We've had two lands this entire game and it's turn seven. And opponent scoops it up. About time. All right, bring in the Pithing Needles. And the Rest in Peace, is it? No, I don't think we need Rest in Peace for this. So we'll just bring in the Pithing Needles. Go down the area of Champions. Bring in a path. Yeah, run it back like that. All right, we're going to keep this one. Opponent leads on the Celestial Colonnade, passes to us. We're going to lead on planes into Champion of the Parish, pass the turn back. Opponent plays a Flooded Strand, passes back to us, sees in Pyromancer. Let's go planes, attempt to run out a Loyal Cathar. That resolves. Go to combat, swing in for two. Opponent takes it down to 18 and we pass. They crack the Flooded Strand in the end step, get a Hallowed Fountain, tapped. This is good, makes Magus better. And path to exile on the Cathar. Now oh, we'll get a planes, feel of Ruin from our opponent and Monastery Mentor. Okay, passes to us. Let's go Mountain, Magus, counter on our Champion of the Parish. Go to combat, swing in for three. Opponent takes it down to 14 and we pass the turn. They untap their three mountains. No attacks and pass, missing their land drop as well. Let's go Sacred Foundry, run out of Season Pyromancer, counter on the Champion of the Parish. We'll discard Season Pyromancer and Sacred Foundry. Counter goes on our Champion of the Parish. We'll run out of Pyre of Heroes. Go to combat, swing in for four. Opponent casts Surgical Extraction on our Seasoned Pyromancer. Are they going to trade off both creatures for this Champion of the Parish? Nope, they just trade off a Monk token. Pass the turn there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Round two, we've lost the die roll. Let's say this one's a mulligan. This one's even worse. This one's better. We can keep this. Let's put back Pia Kirin and second champion of the parish. Opponent plays a Blood Crypt and Thought Seize. Mm. That takes our champion. Then the next turn, they take a Thalia. We're just going to concede here. They don't know what we're on, but we do know that they're a red black Thought Seize deck. So they probably have Death Shadows. So paths are good. Or champion's good. Take out the Maguses because they've got the red. Rest in peace is what I'm stuck on. They don't know our strategy, so I'm actually would rather not bring it in over our shenanigans. So what if we did that and Pithing Needle for Liliana? Just run it back as is with the paths. Yes, I would like to play first. His hand is very much not great. Mulligan. His hand is better. We'll keep. Put planes to the bottom. Cavern of Souls. Naming human. Bring out the champion of the parish. Pass the turn there. Savar Trom for our opponent. So Mardu. Draw the bolt. Well, Arid Misa. Crack the Arid Misa. Sacred Foundry. Yes, I'll pay two life. Uruk Champion. Pumps up the champion of the parish. Swing in for two. Opponent takes it down to 18. Pass the turn there. Blood Crypt from our opponent, Lightning Helix on the champion of the parish, and they pass to us. Draw another champion. Let's go to combat, attack with the Uriok. We'll run out the champion in case a Liliana is coming down next turn, and then we'll just pass the turn there. Inquisition from our opponent. Okay, they take the Lightning Bolt. Blood Crypt untapped from our opponent. Cleansing Wildfire, our Sacred Foundry, yes. Um, planes or Mountain? Let's get Mountain, and they pass back to us. Well, we draw the Planes anyway. Um, let's lead on Blade Splicer, going to gain two life. Put a counter on our champion of the parish and swing in for three. Lamekin Harbinger from our opponent. So it's an elementals deck. Lightning Skelemental and Thought Seize to take our Pyre. And they pass to us. And that's the land that would have been nice for the Pyre. And we'll go to combat, swing in for six. Opponent blocks the first strike in Golem. Village writes the Flamekin Harbinger. Okay, takes three down to eight and we pass the turn. Swamp from our opponent, Season Pyromancer. Discarding and drawing, get a bunch of life. They pass back to us. Another Blade Splice is not bad. Run it out. Put counters on our champion of the parish, gain a bunch of life, go to combat. We're just going to swing with the first strike in golem this turn, I believe. Oh, we could have swung with the Ryuk. That was pretty free. Yep, they're just going to chum up the board with the elemental and village writes it. Okay, they pass the turn, or we pass the turn rather. Blood Chief's Thirst on our golem token. I smell blood in the water. Godless Shrine tapped from our opponent. And there's the Thunderkin Awakener. No attacks and they pass the turn. Path to exile for the Thunderkin would be pretty good. Swing in for four. Opponent blocks with an elemental, takes one, pass Pass the turn. In their upkeep, we path the Thunderkin Awakener. Stop any silly loops they've got going on. Mountain from our opponent. Croxa. Okay, it's going to be tough. Brings back the Croxa. Pass to us. Oh, okay. Well, Thalia's Lieutenant's pretty good. Two, four, six. So we'd get in for six if they block the two strongest threats, which they should. Which takes them down to one which greatly reduces their options. Opponent goes down to one and they scoop it up to the sideboard. Rest in pieces are coming in. And now that we know they're three color, I'm tempted with the Maguses again. Go down the Royal Cathars, go down the Doomed Travelers. We have two spare slots left. 
Bring in the Banisher Priests, why not? Run it back like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep this one. Tap land from our opponent. They pass to us. Uh, let's go Arid Misa. Crack it. Get a Plains. Run out the Champion of the Parish. Pass the turn there. Opponent has the Inquisition. Takes the Pyre. Okay. So they can beat the Uriok Champion. Bloodstained Maya. Cracks it. Swamp. Oh, is this another piece of hand hate? Nope. Blood Chief's first for the Champion. So a Liliana in our future, probably. Blade Splice is pretty good. Let's lead on some. Sunbait Canyon into Thalia's Lieutenant. Pass the turn there. Blood Crypt tapped from our opponent. They pass the turn. Banisher Priest. It's okay, I suppose. Let's play Sacred Foundry tapped and we'll get the Uriok Champion down now. Thalia's Lieutenant ticking up. Swing in for two. Take it down to 17. We pass. Oust on our Uriok Champion. Marsh Flats from our opponent. Cracks it. It's a Blood Crypt untapped. Has a seasoned Pyromancer to refuel their hand, but gets no tokens. Okay. Hmm. This only takes them off white, unfortunately. They got the basic swamp. Let's run out of Blade Splicer. Put a counter on our Thalia's Lieutenant. Go to combat and swing in for three. Opponent takes it down to 11. Pass the turn. Nahiri from our opponent. Ticking up with the Nahiri. Okay. Certainly gives us something we have to deal with. Bloodstained Maya. And they're just passing there. That's the Uriuk back. Let's lead on Banisher Priest. Take that Season Pyro. Counter on the Lieutenant. Let's just hit Nahiri this turn. And then we'll go for a big swing next turn. Pass it there. Opponent cracks the Bloodstained Maya. Gets a Blood Crypt. They have one card in hand. Do these two cards beat us, opponent? We have exactly 10 power on the board. Flamekin Harbinger from our opponent. And just passes. Pre-combat, let's go Season Pyromancer. Counter on the Thalia's Lieutenant. We'll discard Magus the Moon, Champion of the Parish. Do hit the land, that's good. Go to combat, swing in with everything. Opponent has to chump. Down to four, pass the turn there. Oh, we win. <laughs> All right, no Winota in that one, but uh, they had to take the pyre. They had to respect the pyre and just good old human aggression got there. All right, round three, won the die roll. Let's go. Mm. I'm going to keep. Opponent reveals a Loris of the Dream Den. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep. Oriok Champion might just be what we need. Let's go Plains into Champion of the Parish. Pass the turn there. Oh, Bloodstain Maya could be turn one hand hate. It's overgrown tomb. Yep, that's the thought seize. Yep, they have to take the Uriuk. They pass Pass to us. That is a pyre though. Let's play Sacred Foundry. We will pay two life. Run out the Loyal Cathar. Go to combat. Swing in for two. Opponent's down to 13. Pass the turn there. Nothing from our opponent. Okay. Um, well, we did draw this Thalia. That's pretty nice. Opponent has to push the parish now. Go to combat. Swing in for two. Opponent takes it down to 13. Sacred Foundry. Pass the turn there. A land next turn would be pretty good. Hex Drinker. Okay. May pass. Still stuck on the one land. All right. We didn't draw a land. Let's run out the pyre. Go to combat. Swing in with both. Opponent takes down to seven. Does draw the second land though. Has a goif. Leash. That is something we will have to deal with. Passes to us. Another loyal Cathar. They look like they're rock, not Jund. So Magus probably buys us a lot of time here. Let's get rid of this loyal Cathar. We could go season Pyromancer into a Winota. Big swing. Let's go for that. More upside. Let's ditch Winota and Pyre. Draw a loyal Cathar and appear here in the line. No attacks and we pass the turn. Back comes our Cathar. Opponent down to five. Scourge of the Skyclaves. Okay. Passes back to us. Hidden Arid Misa as well. Does that get us anything? Reduces the number of misses in our deck. Arid Misa, we'll just get a Plains. Pyre, get rid of Season Pyro. Get our Winota. Go to combat. Big swing. Three triggers. Thalia. Thalia's Lieutenant. Anything else? Uriuk Champion that they wouldn't be able to block. That's one damage. Oh, they can block those. Uh, let's go for another Thalia's Lieutenant. And... Loyal Cathar, Season Pyro. Let's go for a Season Pyro. And opponent scoops it up. Okay, good round one. Against this deck. Rest in peace is good. Banish a Priest and Path. Let's go down the Loyal Cathars and the Doomed Travelers. Run it back like that. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. Opponent still reveals the Loris. Okay. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Overgrown Tomb. Untapped. Fort Seas. What do you take, opponent? They take our Season Pyromancer. Interesting. Pass to us. Cavern of Souls. Naming Human. Run out the Champion of the Parish. Pass the in there. Blood Crypt from our opponent. They do have the red. Tarmogoyf. Okay. Uriok Champion's not bad. Planes into Uriok Champion. Counter on the Champion of the Parish. No attacks. Pass the turn. Opponent swinging in. We're just going to take it. Down to 17. Hex Drinker. Gain a life. Another Champion of the Parish. Alright, so Arid Misa. Crack it. Let's just get ourselves a Planes here. Run out Champion of the Parish. Gain life. Put encounters around. Run out the Pyre. No attacks this turn. And we can Magus them off black. Now ah, they got the Bolt for 
for the champion of the parish anyway. Thought sees. What do you take? Tough choices, opponent. I think it's got to be Magus here. Yeah, it's the Magus down. And we swing in. Well, no blocks from us. Not this time. Down to 12. And another Hex Drinker. Well, we'll gain another life. Pass back to us. Play the Sacred Foundry. Let's pay the life. And we're going to get rid of the Uriuk champion here. As awful as that sounds, we're going to get... Banish Priest is pretty cool, but we're going to get Seasoned Pyromancer. Can is on our champion. Discard a Winota. There's the rest in peace. Which, yes, I think we cast now. And then we pass the turn. Mishra's Bauble from our opponent. Cracks it. Starting to level up these Hex Drinkers. Leveling up the one first. Okay. Passes to us. They draw a card off their bauble. We draw a land. Let's play it. Crack it. Let's get the mountain. Pyre of Heroes away our season pyro. And we're going to actually get Pier Kirin here. Counter on our champion. Go to combat. Swing in for four. No blocks from our opponent. They can only level up as sorcery, can't they? Yep, so we can respond with the Pier Kirin. Wooded Foothills from our opponent. Cracks it, down to six. Gets a mountain. Coligan's Command. Two damage to our... We discard a card and two damage to our Pier Kirin. Well, we'll target your Hex Drinker. Sacrifice the Pyre. Don't think we need it anymore. You discarded a land from us, opponent. They pass to us. We draw an Oriok Champion. Okay, well, we'll go to combat and just attack with everything. Opponent jumping with the Goyf. Run out the Uriok Champion. Counter in the champion of the parish. Pass the turn there. Can you beat this opponent? Overgrown tomb. Tapped. They can level up the hex drinker, but I don't think that helps them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. We're doing so well. Fire, really good in that matchup. Winoda did fantastic game one. They got stuck on one land, but that's why we run Thalia and those tools. So if you do get stuck on one land, we can be unforgiving. Round four. It's a lot of lands. It's Mulligan. We'll keep this one. Let's throw away redundant Magus, I suppose. Opponent plays a Misty Rainforest. Cracks it. It's a Temple Garden. Untapped. Into an Arbor Elf. Heliod. Passes to us. Cavern of Souls. Naming human. Pass the turn there. Prismatic Vista from our opponent. Gets the basic forest, but puts it on the Temple Garden. Okay, we can punish their mana here. Pass the turn to us. Um, play Mountain into Thalia. Yeah, opponent has to do this now if they want to collect a company in response. They do. What do they hit? Okay, Uriok Champion and a Conclave Mentor. Pass it there. Another Prismatic Vista. Okay, so we can't really hurt their mana much anymore. Get the planes. Run out another Uriok Champion. And a Ranger Captain. They're going for the Walking Ballista. They pass the turn there. Another Pyre isn't what we wanted to see. If they have Heliod in hand. Yeah. Sacred Foundry. We will pay two life. Let's Magus now. Hurts our mana, but we can fix it later. We've got Pyre. Opponent gains some life. No attacks from us. Pass the turn there. Pendlehaven from our opponent. Big old walking ballista. Shoots down our Thalia. Swings in for a bunch. Passes to us. Thalia's lieutenant that we can't cast, so what? We could go Season Pyromancer. I like that. Season Pyromancer. Sure, you can gain life, opponent. Thalia's lieutenant. Ugh, we could hide the Pyre. Let's not. They can see the Pyre. Get a planes that we play. We'll just pass the turn there. Windswept Heath. That's a mountain from our opponent. Put encounters on the walking ballista. Yeah. Machine gunning down the elementals. Yeah, hate to see it. Getting in with a big swing though. No blocks this turn. Down to six. Go to our turn. Planes is pretty good. I just don't see how we win from here because they're just going to pump up the walking ballista next turn. So the season pyro line is out. Can't block enough creatures. So this goes up to four next turn. So we have to block that. We're functionally on two. We have to block this. So one, two, three, four, which is how many creatures we'll have. So two will get through and that's enough to kill us. Scoop it up. Big in sideboard. Pithing Needles in. Magmatic Vandals in. Deicides in. Bring in the paths. I think we can go down the area of champions here. Trim two loyal Cathars. Now they know about the Magus, they won't be falling for it again, so we'll take it out. Right, run it back like that. Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, yeah, this seems alright. Let's go planes and pass. Utopia Sprawl on the forest. Okay, passes back to us. It's a champion of the parish. Go mountain champion. Pass the turn there. Misty Rainforest from our opponent. Cracks it. It's a temple garden. Untapped. That is the Heliod. Passes to us. That's a Winota though. So Spike Feeder next turn is infinite life, I suppose. Let's go Sacred Foundry. Pay two life. Let's go Season Pyro. Counter on the champion. Discard a Thalia and a Blade Splicer. Okay. We didn't hit the land. We've got another turn to hit the land for the Winota. Opponent's down to 15. Windswept Heath. 
cracks it, plays a planes, and it's just passing. Okay, that's a pyre though. Let's run out the pyre. Go to combat. Uh, yeah, swinging with everything. Collected company. Skyclave, Skyclave. Gross, okay. Taking the pyre. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Okay, takes the pyre, takes the champion. Bolt the one with the pyre underneath it. They block an elemental token. Go down to 11. Pass to them. Hopefully they can't win this turn. Collected company. Oof, those don't win the game. Not yet, at the very least. But the prismatic vista means they could be keeping path open. That also doesn't win the game. Okay, well, champion of the parish down. Thalia's lieutenant down. Let's go to combat. Just swing in with these. If they want to block, they have to trade stuff off. No blocks from our opponent. Down to six. Okay, we're close. Tapping and untapping. Collected company again. Okay, that's that's not a win from here yet. Cracks the prismatic vista. Gets forest. Another skyclave. Okay, getting kind of gross here. If you just want to chill out opponent, takes our season pyro. Okay, swinging in for nine. I think we just take it. Go to our turn. Path to exile is not bad. Hmm. Path on the Heliod now. Pass the turn. We've got some blockers. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can draw a land. Collected company from our opponent. Do they hit the win? Two Ryuk champions. Okay, not quite a win. Untaps the forest. Is this another collected company? No, this is a Heliod. Okay, which enters as a creature. Pumps up a bunch of stuff. Conclave mentors are going to help with that. Hmm. Those are some big boys. Okay, let's go to blocks. Illusion in front of that. Thalia in front of that. And champion of the parish in front of that. Okay. We get another illusion, they gain some life. They pass to us. That is in fact a land. Get ourselves the planes. Let's see if it survives and let's see if it's enough. I don't think it will be, but it'll be cool if it is. An opponent has the path, so we scoop it up. Well, that was absolutely no fun at all. <laughs> we really tried. We put up a good fight, but we, we can't beat that one. All right, final round. This one's a mulligan, I think. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. We've got redundancy. We've got something we can pot away and we're versing this stack. Okay, hardened scales. Rook champion. Okay, well, Arid Mesa. Pass. Ink Moth Nexus from our opponent. There's the hardened scales. Animation module. Let's get a planes. Go to our turn. Play the planes. Um, let's run out the Uriok champion. Opponent chooses not to graft onto it. Pass the turn there. Forest from our opponent. All right. So the Magus line doesn't work too well, but it does still turn off a bunch of their lands. That is a big old hanger back. That is a very big hanger back. Well, at least we get to gain some life, I guess. And it passes to us another land. Okay. Um, just go Thalia's lieutenant. Gain some life. Counters on our Uruk champion. Let's play the Arid Mesa. Pass the turn there. Another hanger back walker from our opponent. Gain some life. No grafting. They do activate the animation module. Gain some more life. Those are some big creatures. Swings in for three. We're just going to take it. Crack the Arid Mesa. Just get another planes. Into our turn. Oi, these are not good draws at all. Well, let's play Sacred Foundry. Yes, I'd like to pay two life. Pyre of Heroes. Do we have a relevant three drop though? I don't really think we do. We'll get rid of this Thalia's Lieutenant. Let's get Seasoned Pyromancer. Ditch Pyre and Sacred Foundry. Okay, we hit a Magus and a Loyal Cathar. Gonna gain some life. Pass the turn there. Ancient Stirrings from our opponent. Walking Ballista. X equals one. Three counters on it now. Swinging in for 10 and shooting our Uriok champion. Okay, pass the turn there. Let's go. Magus of the Moon. Planes. Get rid of the Season Pyro. Get ourselves a Winota. Go to combat. Mediocre swing. Do we hit anything relevant? Nope. No, we do not. Well, unfortunately that means we're dead. All right, sideboarding against this. Magmatic Vandals in. Banisher Priests in. Pithing Needles in. Deicides can be good. I've only got the hardened scales as the enchantment. No, I think we can give that one a miss. Does rest in peace come in? Rest in peace does in fact come in. Yep, because it hits modular because that's when it dies. What's not great? Thalia's not doing too good. Loyal Cathar takes a hit as does the doomed traveler line. So let's bring back in one Thalia. Oh no, let's take it out. Take out this. Bring in path. Go down a single to champion. Bring in path. Run it back like that. Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, no, I'm not keeping this one. This one's better. We will keep. I think we'll put planes to the bottom. Let's go planes. Champion of the parish. Pass the turn there. Opponent plays a forest and nothing. Well, let's go Arid Mesa. Crack it. Sacred Foundry. We will pay two life. Run out the Thalia's lieutenant. Opponent has dismember for the champion of the parish in response. Okay. No extra counters going anywhere, unfortunately. Pass the turn there. Forest from our opponent to a metallic mimic. Naming construct, putting down a hangerback walker. Didn't draw the land. So unfortunately it's pie 
fire and pass the turn. Harden scales from our opponent. Big swing, take it down to 14. And they play an Arcbound Worker. Pass to us. That's also not a land. Let's pyre away the Thalia's Lieutenant. Get Seasoned Pyro here. Ditch Magus. And Thalia's Lieutenant still not drawing the land. Okay. Passes the turn. Walking Ballista from our opponent. Hits our Elemental. Hits our Elemental. Swings in. No blocks from us. Goes to our turn. Let's run out Thalia's Lieutenant. Counter on the Seasoned Pyromancer. Pass the turn there. Forest from our opponent. Gem Razor eats the pyre of heroes. Yeah, very fair. Swings in. We just have to take it, unfortunately. Down to one, and Walking Ballista will kill us. Damn. <laughs> Damn, I mean, turn five stuck on two lands. Can't even draw cards to check. So where, where were our lands? Next card down was our lands. That's very frustrating. Good league though. All right, Pyre Winota Humans. For a first go at the deck, I'm really happy with how it's performing. Uh, the Pyre works very well with our Loyal Cathars, with our Doomed Travelers. That's just an awesome amount of value, which as we learned in the first game, those creatures are just annoying for control decks to deal with because they can't just board wipe them away. The Winota didn't get to get it off too often in some practice games i've definitely got it off a lot but unfortunately just not fast enough blade splicer season pyromancer as our main token generators they're okay they're not bad um season pyromancer may just not give us tokens but i think that's a risk we're happy to take two magus feels pretty good maybe we could go more silver bullety with the pyre but overall the main deck feels pretty solid if there's something that uh is glaringly obvious that's missing please let me know in the comments down below because i think this deck could have a future sideboard sideboard went pretty well unfortunately we didn't hit any of our sideboard hate for the heliod matchup which i mean maybe that's got to do more with mulliganing than anything else the cheeky manic vandal against hardened scales affinity just never saw it never got to it got pinched on mana that game and unfortunately they had the answer for our pyre on Honestly, genuinely frustrating losses. Maybe the mana base needs a couple more lands in it. We are only running the one Sunbaked. We could easily up that to two or three. Then we're running a 23 land deck, but we're also able to draw more. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, have fun.